welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Nunai. And I'm Mustaha. And we're the Yusuf, so welcome to our channel. Um, so today's video is gonna be a Q&A, and it's also a great way to get to know us if you're new here. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, it's been a while since we talked to you guys, and um, recently we had like a meltdown in a car <laughs> where we were talking for a long time and you guys seem to really enjoy us talking to the camera so you know what we decided you know what this is a great opportunity to like get to know each other moving forward I think we want to do more of these videos because you know yeah it's more us like you know yeah, it's more personal yes yes more personal okay so we asked you guys to ask us questions on Instagram if you don't follow us on Instagram make sure you do yes. Um, and you guys had a lot of questions and we're just gonna go through all of them. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with who is the younger sister? That would be me. So if you, there's a lot of questions about like, are you guys sisters? Are you guys biological sisters? Are you like, who's older, who's younger? So yes, we are sisters. I'm the younger one, she's the older one. We come from a really big family, um, two brothers and six sisters, and we're the two youngest sisters. Yes. Um, yeah. Anything you want to add to that? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And yes, we are biological sisters, same mom, same dad. Yes. Okay. It's so funny, someone said um, in one of the last videos, oh, you guys are African? I thought you guys were Arab. I was like, what? I mean, there are like brown Arabs and like black Arabs. I guess. Yeah. But no, we're not Arab, we're Somali. Yeah. Um, are you Muslim? Yeah. Yes, we are. We are. Um, and there was another question about what we're doing for the holidays. I, I, I just remember yeah. seeing it. Um, we actually don't celebrate Christmas because we're Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like we go to like holiday events for like work and stuff like that like friends things like that but we don't actually like have a christmas tree yeah um but we we really love this time of year it's fun it's very like <laughs> festive we love the lights we, we love, love all the decorations we love all the of decorations. it all um, we love how people are so happy and like yeah. in such a giving mood except for like and in the mall they're not happy at all they're all yeah. in her <laughs> they look really stressed out um but yeah love this time of year and, and i'm I, just very grateful i don't have to buy gifts for people well we buy gifts during eid and yeah. things like like we have our own holidays and stuff but um we just do not celebrate christmas yeah and we are muslim yes, yes. um christmas day plans that was your answer <laughs> <laughs> on christmas day since everything is closed, we usually just spend time at home yeah. with our family like we usually do, like with our kids and whatever. Yeah. Um, and we just hang out in our pajamas because everything is closed. It's closed, yeah. Except for um, this, I think in the last two years though, we did not. Oh, yes. In the last two years, we were, uh, we were in Dubai. The last three years. Yeah. The yeah. last three years, we did not celebrate, like, or we weren't here this time of year. We were in Dubai, and this year I'm gonna be in Dubai because my kids are spending the like the holiday time where they're off from school with their dad. So I'm gonna be in Dubai. Yeah, and I sis, opted out yeah. to just stay at home and just chill out this year because I'm exhausted from traveling this year, you guys. But she's gonna regret it. Just trust me. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have FOMO, <laughs> but I'm just I cannot I can't think of getting on an airplane yeah. anytime soon. I, yeah. I need to chill out. But have fun. Me too. But I would rather be somewhere than be here by myself. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If I didn't like if I didn't have my kids, I would, would for sure be in Dubai with you. Yeah. Like, what else would I be doing? Right. But since I have two little ones now, I'm not trying to take them on an airplane. It's I'm not, not fun. Yeah. It's just a lot of work, especially and a long airplane yeah, yeah like i was able to do it with just aya because it's just one child and she's so small but two of them yeah that sounds ghetto <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> unless you get me a private jet or remember something? last time we were like taking turns with aya on the flight yeah it was we were like taking turns but she was actually surprisingly really yeah. good but yeah no um not this time though yes okay let's move on but yeah, in the meantime, maybe you guys can like, you guys can tell us what kind of content you guys like to see because I feel like recently we got into that like this like routine of just doing vlogs only because 
we've honestly just been like everywhere like we've been on constantly the go. on the go yeah. so it's just been like the easier type of content to make um but like i keep seeing in the comments like people say oh what happened to the hauls and what happened you know just like the styling videos we're still there's there's hauls i mean we're yeah. still buying things actively we just haven't gotten around to like making the video because literally it's like every time we bring out a new video it's because we're literally going somewhere else so yeah, yeah. Um, so speaking of traveling, someone said, um, where is your next travel location and what was your favorite travel location this year? Um, uh, what was your my, favorite this year? My favorite this year was Barcelona. You did a lot more traveling than me. I did a, I did the absolute most this year. <laughs> <laughs> I had a baby, so I was just like, I'm not trying to go anywhere unless it's for work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the first time in my life, I'm like, um. I'm not like a hundred percent parenting. I'm more like eighty percent parenting. So all my free time is spent not being here, and then obviously I also travel for work. So that's why I've been traveling a lot. But my favorite has been Barcelona, actually. Well, just Spain, period, because I went to two places. Um, and my next destination, like I said, is Dubai. I was in Mexico like a week ago, or was it two two weeks ago? Two weeks. Ago. I don't know, but just recently. Uh, it was really lovely, but going to Dubai next. And my favorite this year has to be that Paris trip with Maison Francis oh my Kirk gosh, Dijon. Yes. That was like a once in a lifetime opportunity that I will never forget. Yeah, that was your first um, trip back. Yeah, from after, having a baby. Yeah, yeah that was fun. That yeah, was really it was. fun. It was like three months after I had a baby, and it was like my first trip. It was, was actually so your first like working thing back yeah yeah and what a way to come back honey i feel like that always happens to you i know cause last, last time, time she had a baby it was like we went to again paris and venice with, and venice yeah, yeah it was with anthropology and it was actually also once in a lifetime opportunity i guess i just need to keep having babies for us to be getting these once in a lifetime opportunities <laughs> not me i'm good on that <laughs> just wait i'm good too um what's oh what's my next travel location um it's gonna have to be new york fashion week for me unless something else comes up obviously yeah um but that's currently what i have planned once when i get back from um Dubai I think like three weeks after that I'm going to the Bahamas with my kids because my oldest daughter is turning nine and then after that it's gonna be like New fashion, fashion month week. yeah yeah all right I'm trying to like read through these and group them in categories so we're not like jumping around from like random jump time. around sis okay let's jump it's around okay just right. live a little okay <laughs> how different are your lives from each other outside of work Currently, Currently very, very different. different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very much like on mom duty mo the majority of my time unless I'm working. And as you all know, my life has changed drastically. So I feel like we swapped lives. Literally, we swapped lives. I used lives. to be me. I used to be everywhere. She used to be the, the hot girl, just living her best <laughs> life. I'm still not a hot girl, but I feel like I try to like... Um, live like my single life as well as be a mom because i'm just like i'm i'm single now i'm by myself like i'm not gonna let this time in my life go to waste and you know and you're still young i'm still fabulous, young and i feel, poppin', I feel okay. like this is the best i've ever felt about myself i'm not gonna let this time like just go to waste so i'm like yes i'm a mom when i'm here i'm 100 percent gonna do all the mom stuff but when i don't have those kids <laughs> You better hold on to your horses. <laughs> yep. Buckle up, sweeties. <laughs> hide your sons, hide your husbands. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, once upon a time, though. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so the next question is, how often should you post in each platform? Stories, posts, reels, etc. I would say every day. Especially on, like, stories. Because I feel like, that's where you can really just be yourself and yeah. like, like post just like anything. Yeah, like and your I think food, your kids, your I don't know, your trip to Target, your yeah. just all your day to day stuff. And it's like the best um, way for people to get to know you, I think, because you yeah. can just totally be yourself 
every day and it's like the best way to engage with people we always like respond in, in when people like you know talk yeah. to us over like the stories and stuff like that because we put something out there and someone is engaging we're gonna engage back you know yeah so it's like the nicest way to get to know people and i think people will really like stick by you then mm -hmm. yeah um yeah so every day um but obviously on like because there's so many platforms to now keep up with. but you can always recycle the content yeah so it's really yeah. hard to like create like different types of content for each specific platform but you don't have to you don't have to just repurpose Take the everything. same old video and just slap <laughs> it everywhere <laughs> Except for YouTube. I need to take my own advice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I neglect 2023. like... 2023! Every year we're just like, yeah, uh, <laughs> YouTube, next year we're, we're gonna be on it! Okay, speaking of our 2023 goals, I think our goal for 2023 is to really step up our YouTube game because just specifically in regards to like just being more consistent, um, because we've really just been sleeping on that. Like and we want to like produce more videos and like content for you guys. Um, and like really commit to a schedule. Yeah. Because I feel like not only will you grow faster that way, but you'll actually like accumulate like um, a community that is like, and I, yeah. that actually cares about you and your life. You yeah. Know? And I feel like, I feel like at this point we actually owe it to you guys because yeah. There was like long periods of time when we weren't creating content and you guys actually came We're looking, looking for, for us. us. Yeah. And you know, and I just felt like, oh my God, like I, f I actually felt bad because I'm like, you know what? Like I should be like, I should be, um, what's the word I'm looking you need for? You to step it up. No, yeah, I should be delivering to this community who yeah. actually cares about my whereabouts, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard sometimes because like we're constantly on the go and like we said, we're moms and like we do all these things. Yeah. It's so, it's hard to like dedicate, like do a dedicated video for YouTube, but I think more and more it's becoming like, like obvious to us that I think we have the best community like here on YouTube like people yeah. who actually genuinely like follow up and like know about like our lives yeah and I and I honestly just feel more comfortable saying things about like my life updates here versus anywhere else yeah. I don't know why same like I, yeah. I feel like I feel way more comfortable even speaking to the camera I feel more on understood YouTube. here yeah and like, I feel yeah. more like um just more comfortable in general yeah um just being myself and making like stupid jokes and just acting like a clown or yeah. like you know um on youtube and i think the reason why is because it's not an intimidating like number like our follower count is not that high so i feel like it's like more pers personal and maybe I, and I for know. me it's because i feel like every time i actually like stepped out of my comfort zone and i actually told you guys something that was private it was so well received people yeah. were just like so nice to me like when i said i got a divorce everybody was so nice like yeah. i felt like i i was telling my friends and, and i wasn't didn't even need to go so in, long for and you me. didn't even need to go into like details yeah. about like your divorce or what happened or anything people just kind of understood understood and like so, were respectful shout outs to you guys you yeah. guys are real ones for real you really are <laughs> we need to do better for y'all yeah we're gonna try our best <laughs> next year i promise <laughs> okay um someone said who's your fashion inspiration slash icons fashion inspiration an icon I don't know I'm I'm like uh, I feel like immediately I would have to say Iman as far as like fashion <gasps> just because her. like she's Somali like the, like we just she's feel a like an Somali instant, queen she, we have like an instant connection and she's the same tribe as we us. are we come from the same tribe <laughs> <laughs> um and I don't know I just like I feel like I'm just more connected to her in terms of like a female like individual on the in the um, like whatever in the media world whatever mm -hmm. um but as far as fashion who do i love i don't know i'm not really inspired lately by, by i always like anyone i always like tracy ellis ross yeah same she always has like she's such a she's just like such a versatile like she's way just a classy of woman yeah. yeah she's like classy one minute next minute she looks like a whole thug like yeah. i love it <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um, 
Can we have the deets on this coat? Oh, I was wearing a coat, the, the yellow snake yeah. print coat. I think it's by Stan Studio. Stan, yeah, Stan Studio. Yes. Um, Miss Deha Girl, who was in your Tulum vlog? No, Miss Deha Girl, who was in Tulum with you? Googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> There was a bunch of that in the video, like in the video comments. You too. guys are killing me with those. Um, <laughs> it was an individual. That's all y'all need to know. Um, I, I don't, honestly, I'm not really like comfortable with talking about a partner, like ever. I don't think I was even comfortable talking about my ex husband when he was my husband. So I don't see myself like ever having like, a partner in a video just like haha -ha, like you know him being like me in like front facing so for now like just know that it's an individual and it's great mm -hmm. but I'm just not comfortable with like talking about it yet certain things you should just keep private yeah and certain things you know we're more comfortable to share yeah um, but our battery is dying oh my I God. just see it blinking so we'll be right back <laughs> struggling for battery life uh, it's rough out here okay so we're back all right where were we next question is how do you prioritize private life versus vlog blog life i don't know if i understand that but i'm thinking so, it's more like work life like how do we work balance? life balance i don't <laughs> it's all I, in shambles i'm constantly um I'm constantly just hanging by a thread and I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's it's kind of like become our like norm. Like. Yeah, like I'm I'm I feel like I don't even like being bored. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm okay with the go 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 until I drop that. <laughs> like we're all going to die at some point. I mean, you know, might as well go out with uh, excitement. Yeah, so obviously we prioritize our children. Yeah, um they come first. But we're also very fortunate to have a career that we love and enjoy. Yeah. Um, and that's also a priority. So, I mean, whatever is a priority for that for that day is what comes first. Yeah. But the kids always come first. Yeah. And um, I just want to add that we grew up with a mother just like this. Like, yeah. she worked and lived, honey. Yeah. She, she was constantly traveling. Yeah. And she was working and she was mothering so and she was traveling for work as well and so we and we and had no problem with her so yeah. hopefully our kids don't have a problem with us yes <laughs> um how do you juggle family with children and fashion influencing so basically the same question um we just juggle them both <laughs> we just we, we juggle we we out here just being clowns yeah um <laughs> and we're okay with it yeah and we do have help like yeah. we have our nannies and you know um family, family and yeah we're just very fortunate to have a lot of help yeah we have help yes so, um how did you guys start your fashion blog we or started how did you start blogging how did you start blogging oh yeah so we started five years ago this october um and in the beginning we were just like you know just contributing to the same blog just for fun I was in Canada, she was already in the US, Yeah, and, and we just both were doing our own content, but on the same platform. Yeah, and we were just like both working corporate jobs, and we're like, this is boring, uh, we're living in Let's boring get out of here. cities, <laughs> we're like, what are we going to do? And then we just kind of decided we were going to blog together, because we were scared to do it separately, and then, yeah, that's how it all started. Yeah, so we literally would just like... Um, take photos of our outfits every day and just yeah. post it and just you know keep yeah. going yeah and then we kind of just kind of evolved into like creating like more like artistic and like cool yeah like, content we just started um, to learn more about like photography angles lighting you know like what what how we look good in front of the camera and putting stuff cooler like that. looks together like yeah. more inspiring we evolved looks. yeah we evolved yeah. and then at some point we made like a goal to like start like an online shop and then we wanted to like our plan was like we try we've always been traveling and our plan was to you know just like buy things from all around the world and like sell them to like our audience mm -hmm. um we started to do that with we started with jewelry and then 
Um, we got so busy with blogging. It was very overwhelming. Yeah, we literally, like, things picked up so crazily with the blogging, and then the pandemic happened, so it was like nobody was traveling, so we kind of had to put a hold um, on, on that. On jewelry, yeah. Um, but yeah, ever since then, things have just been and growing. And then we started a studio, like yes. a content creation studio, yeah. which we still have, and um, it's located in Columbus, Ohio, yeah. and we basically opened it up to the whole city, and, you know, photographers, content creators rent it out by the hour, um, we have staff that help us run it, and, um, and then other than that, it's just the fashion, I guess, influencing and content creation is basically yeah. what we prior prioritize yeah yeah well, tell us a little bit about your journey with your brand manager agency collabs have been fire thank, thank you. you um so we're currently signed to kensington gray which is literally like the hottest <laughs> agency um it's owned by a friend of mine from literally like back in the day her name is shanae ingleton and her husband sean and um, I met Shanae when I was like 19 years old. Uh, we both worked Back at in Toronto. Yeah, we both, six. <laughs> we both worked at Yorkdale, and she was just she worked at like the most fabulous store called Holt Renfrew. It's kind of like the Saks of um, Canada. Yeah. And I remember I used to just like go in there on my breaks because it was like you know like I I would just like go look at things that I aspire to like buy. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day she came up to me and she was just like the nicest girl ever. She was like oh my god you're so pretty i'm like oh my god you're so pretty and then she <laughs> she was like you that's know, so like her she's too. like i always see you in here um you know if you ever want my discount i can totally give it to you i was like ah at halt red i was like no way and then she bought me my first pair of gucci shoes wow <laughs> yeah we always tell everyone this story but yeah she's like an old friend she's an amazing incredible woman um, and she's been doing something similar to this, like helping people in the media world for a very long time. Like she started doing like events like at a really young age and she's always just yeah. had like these super successful like, you know, events and things that she was doing around the city. And Toronto. she was always like working to like empower women yes. and like specifically black women. Yeah. Which is so cool. Yeah. And then when we first started blogging, she actually reached out to me when she started um, like a Facebook group where, you know, it's primarily like women black girls just and help, women of color yeah helping yeah. each other with um this whole like content creating world um and she was like hey i'm starting this group do you want to join and i was like of course and when she decided she wanted to become an agent i was like please you've before been helping she us. even tried she like before she even started that yeah. we were like can you please manage us like yeah. you're so good at this <laughs> like she would like hit her up in the middle of the night, night to like yeah. help negotiate like budgets and things like that with brands and she just always knew the answers yeah and so it so. was a no-brainer when it came to like having a manager yeah. she was always the one we was just waiting for her to yes. you know officially like do it yeah <laughs> yeah um any clothing hauls coming soon what is your workout routine you both look amazing thank, thank you. you um clothing hauls coming soon i mean i guess we can do something because We've been Maybe buying. That should be our next yeah, video. We'll we've do been, a collective haul. Yeah, we've been buying a lot of things, especially like for Fashion Month coming up in February. Um, I feel like we were so unprepared the last couple of times that this time we kind of just started like shopping early and kind of like deciding what what we wanted to do and how we wanted to look together. Yeah. Um, and I've just kind of like been slowly revamping my wardrobe. Like yeah. I for twenty twenty three, I have this goal of just like having like just really cool pieces that i love and just like not having too many random things in my closet yeah. and just kind of slur slowly purging yeah um same so we will definitely share with you guys what we have been collecting yes and then what is your workout routine um for me i don't really have a routine um i just try to really do my best to eat clean and um like do like light activity every single day and mm -hmm. not just be like you know overeating or you know um just not working out at all but yeah light activity and just watching my my like diet basically. yeah and same i mean i don't have that much self-control when it comes to diet i'm not like a terrible eater but i think i like to overindulge in like with like ice cream <laughs> specifically <laughs> and then when i go on like when i'm on because i travel so often like it's hard for me to like Conti like continue eating healthy but when i'm at home literally i don't eat out i always make my own food 
Um, that's a major I, key. Yeah, that's literally the biggest thing. And then I work out um, five days a week at Orange Theory. Um, that's pretty much what I do as far as workout. I did used to work out with a trainer, but I don't anymore. Um, yeah, and then I recently started like trying out Pilates and I really like it. So I'm going to be incorporating that some more. I haven't tried out Pilates. It's really yet. nice. I like Actually, it. Yeah. Because I'm not used to like low impact workouts. Like I'm very much like... Yeah, I have to be like dying. Beast, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's like I think Pilates is more up my speed. I should, yeah, I'm I not. should check it out. Yeah, I need to be like dying yeah. in order to feel like I did something. For working out, all I do is I just ride my Peloton bike um, like a couple of times a week for like 30, 40 minutes. Um, and sometimes I do like I walk for like maybe three, four miles. Um, I was actually going to ask And you. I do a little bit of weight lifting in my garage. Should I, should I, I was gonna get one. Should I get the bike or the... Get the treadmill. The treadmill. Get the treadmill. Why are you saying that? Because you don't have it? No, 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 no. Because I just feel like you could... I, I like treadmill workouts Me better too. than bikes. Me too. But everybody keeps saying, but Peloton is known for their tread, for their bike. But I'm like, but I like to work I out regret on buying the bike. I, I, I wish I got the, the treadmill. Okay. Because okay. I, I just, I like treadmill workouts. Same. I feel like they're really effective and they they're are. easy. And they're really good for your legs and your Yeah, butt. yeah. By the I way, think I'm gonna get that soon. that's the key to, <laughs> to a raised butt is to walk on incline all the way up. on 15 yes. percent and then like just walk for an hour every day. Like you yeah. will have one Fire hell legs of a, and a nice butt. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, hi, do you guys need help getting your finances in order for the upcoming tax season? <laughs> we do hate our tax guy. Yeah, I hate that guy. I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate. Did, by the way, did you find? Did you talk to that other person? No, we need to schedule a meeting. Yeah, we haven't had um, time. <laughs> we actually might reach out to you. Yes. So thanks, sis. Good for you for Sh sliding for you in our DM. Shooting your shot. That's what I like to see. <laughs> how do how to be confident? I know I saw that. <laughs> how to be confident in your body, skin, and everything. Um. Hmm. Literally tell yourself you're that girl every single day until you believe it and also and do, just keep working on yourself Yeah, also do the things that you think make you feel great Like I feel like I started to feel so amazing after myself after I just started like experimenting with things Like I'm just like, you know what? I don't like this. I'm got, let me try this, you know you fix it yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden one day I looked up and I was like shit. I feel like that girl <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, literally just like if you don't like the way you dress, then, you know, experiment and go find something that with works for you. Newer clothes, newer styles, like discover yourself more. Yeah. There's so much room yeah. and opportunity to discover yourself and actually literally like make a brand new you. Right. Yeah. Um, when are your birthdays, ladies? The sweeties want to know. May 10th. April 19th. Aries. Taurus. Yeah. Um, hi, what are your thoughts on the Loewe puzzle bag? Love her. Love her to death. I just bought one. I got the mini uh, puzzle yeah. and it's so cute. I want obsessed. one. I have obsessed, never obsessed, had obsessed, one, obsessed. but I feel like I'm going to go on a rampage and probably buy like three colors at some point. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys ever disagree on stuff? All Always. the time. But the way we work it out is we see who has the bigger dog in the fight. Like if she's more passionate about something and I'm just like, you know what? I'll just let her have that one because I don't really care or, yeah. you know? So it's like, we, you have to kind of compromise. It's kind of like a marriage, you yeah. know? And I think the most important thing is like, because we're family and we, we've literally been next to each other our entire lives, yeah. we genuinely just know what someone is good at and what the other person is good at. So it's like, yeah. If, if there's a problem and it requires something that she's good at, I'm literally not even going to raise my hand. I'm just going to be like, go, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it. Like, I'm not even going to, like, object because I'm just like, you know what? I know deep down, down inside, this is her thing. Yeah. So let go. Go, sis, go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how has Nista have been enjoying her fillers? I'm thinking of getting in, getting them in my smile lines. Okay, don't whoa, get them don't get them in lines. your smile lines. Like, like rule number one, do not put it in your smile lines because you're going to look like a monkey over here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what, like, the multiple, ladies. multiple um, people told me that, especially my um, dermatologist who did my face. Um, honestly, I like, I like the way it looks, but I cannot, I don't see myself, like, doing this forever because I did it 
I did it twice for for um, campaigns with Restylane. The first last year I did my chin, and then this year I did my cheeks. Um, I just feel like I keep hearing more and more like expert advice of people saying like don't do it too often and also don't do too much because it'll like stretch out your skin and then you'll just like always look saggy mm. and I don't want that so for me I was just experimenting with it I just wanted to see like the difference it made and how like what I, if I liked it but I don't I don't see myself like doing it forever but like I mean it looks I, I it looks good it looks great yeah yeah but um, I definitely would not do here and here yeah, yeah. I think well I mean I've never gotten fillers because my face is already so like, full <laughs> and big <laughs> yeah. but I think like the cheeks like when people yeah. do the cheeks I think that's cute but like when people start doing like other things yeah. and I it looks kind of one thing I've been told over and over again is to like help with this area you should do here so that it like lifts off of this area a little bit which is what I did Right? And I heard under eye fillers are, are no, no no because this area of your skin is so thin that you will actually like see the product and it like kind of like moves around right yeah so Ooh. I don't know fillers are like a tricky thing I think it would be you really have to go to a professional like you should go to a doctor and not like an esthetician yeah don't mess with your face honey do not um you both look super young what is your skincare routines. I do the absolute most yeah, currently. Um, if I think I shared my nighttime in my Tulum vlog, but I can share my daytime one of these days. I mean, it's pretty similar. Like I, you know, it's just like wash, serum, um, moisturizer, uh, and then SPF during the day. Um, but I can share all of those products in a separate video. But that's pretty much what I do in the day. And then similar question. You both look so young. How about you? You didn't answer. Oh. <laughs> Um, you're trying to gatekeep? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gatekeeping. So obviously we're, we're influencers, so we're very fortunate to like be gifted a lot of products that we get to try out and yeah. stuff. Um, I, I normally just stick to what I know best, which is a really good uh, cleanser because the main secret to having young looking skin is to always remove your makeup like every single like bit of it because i feel like that's what really ages you yeah you know which is why i was going in on my face yeah like in the you have video. To have i washed my face cleanse. like shit out of my face yeah. yeah um and then obviously a good toner um and a really good moisturizer so. yeah i mean i always like i'm not committed to anything yet or else i would have shared with you guys but that those are my three things oh and a good spf i'm very yeah. committed to vitamin c Vitamin C, yes. I'm that very, will give you that glow. I'm very, very committed to vitamin C because it makes your skin even. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I have to use vitamin C. And then I recently started using retinol. And actually, someone asked in the last video what kind of retinol I use. I use the one from The Ordinary because it's like has the highest um, mm. potency of retinol. I'll yes. share it down below. How do I grow my IG page? Um, I think now it's like people are just so over content creators you really have to think about how you can bring like how he, how you can stand out and how you can bring value to people's lives like if these yeah. people are haven't been invested in your you for a very long time it's hard to just like grab their attention so you kind of have to figure out a way to like um um you know bring value to people's lives like figure out what you're good at and share that and you know eventually your people will find you I agree. Yeah. I want to become an influencer, but I'm scared of the haram police. Girl, how do how do you ignore the critics? <laughs> so not for, the haram police. For those who don't know, the haram police is like the religious people in every religion who like go off on you about what you're wearing, how you're presenting yourself, like your dress is too tight. You, why Screw are you wearing those a bikini? People. Screw them because <laughs> what you do is between you and your God, like literally, yeah. like. Who cares about these people? Who li Literally, who cares? I don't. Do you? No, absolutely not. Yeah, just don't give it any life. It's like, my life. People it's will my troll. body. Yeah, people will troll and that's just, it just comes with the territory. Yeah, you just gotta have thick skin, honey, and do what you do. Yes, so that is it for all of our questions. Yep, that's it for all of our questions. Do you have anything else to add before we... Um, nothing else to add. Wait, didn't somebody ask about perfumes? I feel like I saw something oh. about perfumes. <laughs> Wait. 
Oh, yes. Because I've, I've been talking about perfume perfumes lately. I've become a... Well, I've always been a perfume girly, okay? Yeah. But I just never really talked about it. But literally, I have like every perfume that's ever come out. Yes, you're right. Top five favorite perfumes of all time. Oh my God. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me go get them. <laughs> oh, she was ready for this yes, question. Yes, she, she was. was excited about this one. Can you grab me my drink while you're there? Yeah. Thanks. What do you want to say to the people? Um, perfumes I love. I love Versace Bright Crystal. That's like literally my all time favorite. Um, obviously Baccarat Rouge. Um, I love Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I love... I, oh, we just got these Erin perfumes and I remember um, I went to Saks a couple of times to go and like smell them and I love their perfumes. Um, I forgot the one that we received but it's so Here. good. So she's back with her perfumes. I'm back. Okay, so I think my my all-time favorite is about to be this fragrance that I haven't even received in the mail um, that I tried in uh, Miami. The brand is sending it to me. Um, it's by Frederick Mal, um, and the perfume is called Portraits of a Lady, and I smelled it at some event, and I was just like, wow. It already it's sounds fabulous. I can't so wait to unique. try it. So unique. I love it. <laughs> anyway, but... Um, one of my favorite perfumes is called Apple Brandy by Killian. The bottle is just exquisite. Like, I don't even want to use it because I'm just like, I just want to keep this bottle. Oh, it's so it's pretty. So pretty. Um, it smells so good. Um, don't expect me to like describe these things because <laughs> I'm really <laughs> bad with descriptions. And then the other one is Alien by Mugler. Um, I have that one too. It's really good. It's so good and it lasts so long. Um, I also really, really love Byredo Casablanca Lily. You need this one. It's just so like mysterious and cool and like just, it's just like cool. It smells it's, very rich. Yeah. Like if you walk by someone, money. It just yeah. smells like money. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she mentioned uh, Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I also really like that. I got this small bottle because I was traveling um, and I didn't really want to carry a big ass bottle. But I got the big one. <laughs> she got the big one. I was like, you take so all the good. risks. So um, good. And then Amaris by uh, Maison Francis Kirk, Kirk de Jean. And then also, honorable mention, I really, really like this new Prada one. Oh yeah, I have so that too. So good. It's really good. It's just like a really good daytime, like fresh, like, florally it smells just so pretty i love yeah. it and the bottle is so pretty yeah so cool but yeah that's it for all of our questions i hope you guys enjoyed our little q a yeah um, i feel like we should do this more often i actually was thinking we should do like a live because i feel like we always have so many stories yeah we, should. we have like so many life stories mm -hmm. like really good funny life stories Especially I you. Like, I feel like so many crazy things happen to you, even when you just like go to Whole Foods or like Trader Joe's. Yeah, I've always she been... always has a story. <laughs> yeah, my life is like a compilation of like some of the craziest stories you've ever heard in your life. So I think I'm like I would love to share those stories. Yeah. But, um, let Let us know if you guys want to see like a live from us. We've mm -hmm. never done that on YouTube. Yeah. On TikTok. Yeah, or like even in the comments, let us know like what other topics you guys want us to cover. Yeah. Um, what more you guys want to see from us in the new year because we will be here. We're going to be here. Rocking and rolling. We will be more present. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it, I just feel like now that we're committed to bringing you guys content specifically for YouTube, because we feel like, you know, it's like a family over here. Um, mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. Like yeah. I, I'm actually looking forward to it because I feel like before we didn't really know who we were talking to. Yeah. And now it just feels like you guys are so up to date on everything about our lives, and mm -hmm. you're constantly like just giving us the nicest comments and compliments. And yeah. It's just been so nice. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, thank like you. it just feels like here more than anywhere else. It yeah. feels like we know you guys, and you guys know us. Yeah, for sure. And it's always like the same like handful of people. people yeah and i just love it like i look forward to hearing from you guys like yeah. in the comments every single time so yeah thank you thank you guys um but yeah if you guys made it this far thank you so much for watching we definitely enjoyed chit chatting with you guys um and we'll see you guys in our next video bye bye sweeties